Hey everyone, welcome to the second lesson in the Bundles, Operations, and Text Aggregator course, where we're going to explain the Group By feature of the Text Aggregator in detail. Let me first state that this is a continuation of the previous video, which employs the same scenario that we created. It's highly recommended that you watch the first video to understand the context before proceeding. So, let's go to the Text Aggregator module. Here, under the group by field, you can define an expression containing one or more mapped items if you want the aggregated data to be separated under groups, each of which outputs as a separate bundle containing a key and the aggregated text. By doing this, you can use the key as a filter in subsequent modules. Let me show you. Select the row number as the key and map the text and description elements in the text field here. Now, execute the scenario once. Okay, now let's look at the output. As you can see, there are 10 bundles, each containing a key and the aggregated text. However, even now, it consumes just one operation. Let's choose another element as the key. Select the status element, which corresponds with the status column here. As you can see, there are two statuses, pending and done, which will be used to group the aggregated text. Now execute the scenario again. Let's look at the output here. There are now two bundles, each containing a key representing the status and the aggregated text, which contains the descriptions. The first bundle contains the key pending and the second contains done. To explain this further, let's add a set variable module here and give it a name. Map the output of the text aggregator module, and now add a filter here to process specific bundles based on the status. And since the key contains the status, you need to map it here and choose a text operator where the key contains the status done. It's time to execute this scenario again. And of course you need to select all every time you want to test the scenario with all the rows in the sheet. As you can see here, using the key as a filter, we were able to process a specific bundle of aggregated data. And since just one bundle made it through the filter, the set variable module consumed just one operation. So that's it for this lesson on text aggregator grouping. We have now concluded the course on bundles, operations, and text aggregator. Hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Happy automating.